Yo, what's going on, my giggity giggity gamers? <laughs> I'm actually just joking there, boys. I'm actually not a pedophile. Well, anyway. So right now I am... Well, I don't really remember. Because I recorded this quite a while ago. Oh, I remember I'm getting a lot of workstations for my villagers. And then, I think I didn't realise I didn't have a Fletch server, which I really needed. Which was pretty... Pretty doom, pretty doom, I have to say. Now, someone with large IQs like me, God, who've, you know, done this, then there's some low IQ people who I've heard of who, they don't understand the power of villagers, they spend days in the mines, just to get a couple diamonds, barely anything, and I spend days breeding villagers to force them to do my bidding so you know you spend days most people spend days for a villager I spend days for a full set of diamond diamond tools I spend days getting infinite amounts of diamond tools and armor that's just how it rolls around these parts that's why they call me the breadinator. I have lots of bread and lots of villagers. It's quite nice. It's quite a beautiful sight indeed. Right now I'm trying to just get him into his box where he'll live the rest of his life as my slave. No need to be worried for him though. He's just a disgusting freak of nature. Look at the size of the nose. Her noses are actually probably about the same size as my tar. That's pretty big. In fact, I was actually born with a disability, which made my tar five feet long. I'm not joking. Anyway, so I'm exploring here. This is just all my villages. I'm gonna give you a little hint. They all disappear. I can't remember if it's this episode or if it's next episode, but they just go and I found out where they went. They went into the never portal. But, you know, you've got to live sometimes. You've got to live to make bread. You've got to make bread to live. What episode I... Anyway, I want to ask you a catch-22, which doesn't matter, but... Would you either want to have videos like this where they're shorter but you get them more consistently? Because you know how consistent I am, you know. Before I was doing one per day and then it took me about a week to get one more out. Or would you much rather have one video like every few, every half a week, which are longer? Probably 10 times speed, so it wouldn't actually be that much longer, but it would still be better. Depends. It's all up to you, my friends. My giggity giggity gamers. It's got an iron hole. I ended up getting a pretty big fine by the second episode. Just leveling up him. I don't even know why. I shouldn't have really done this because I didn't need him to level up. I just needed his. I just needed his stick dread. Which, to be honest, might become obsolete, because not Because I do end up trying to get different threads, because I'm smart. So, right, my brain cells are actually about... ...pretty big. I know, that's pretty impressive. Actually, what my IQ is, pretty big. You know, I don't, don't question it. That's actually what it is, so... Pretty big. But yeah. I've got tons of sticks, I'm selling them. This guy does sell a lot. I actually do need to level up that guy because he's the guy who'll give me a diamond pickaxe and shovel. Which are pretty good. I don't yet have the workstation, I don't think anyway, for any of the other tools. But I can do that quite easily. I think it's a grindstone for, the, for a sword and axe. And then, I don't remember what the other one is. 
But I will find out for you, my giggity giggity gamers. Yeah, anyway. Do you guys like AMSI? I don't, it's pretty gay. But yeah, five minutes already. This is quite a long video, I didn't even realise. So they are getting a bit longer now, especially now that I've. Because Minecraft, it kind of gets longer and longer, whatever you do. So you start out, it's like, yeah, I'll spend a few. It'll be quite quick, I can mine, I'll get everything I need. But the longer you play Minecraft, the longer it takes to do everything. And that's just a fact. Now, I probably... Now, this is a bit planning ahead, but when I inevitably want to get some Neverite, I will probably set up first a big TNT and paper for him. Because then, I can choose TNT. I mean, I'm in gunpowder and paper. And that will let me use, make tons of TNT. Which be pretty lit. Look at this, look at this. Anyway guys, I want to reach 100 billion subscribers by the end of the month, so I recommend hitting like and subscribe. Recommending this with all your friends, I don't even care who your friends are. Recommend it with your grandma in the afterlife. Get a Ouija board and tell her to recommend my channel to all of her dead friends that can really help get my work, get my name out there. Don't say this is weird, but it's not. This is normal, this is exactly what a normal person would ask. If that's not what you think, there's something wrong with you. Not me. Anyway, how many children do you have locked in your basements? I have a lot. I'm kidding actually, boys. I'm not actually a pedophile, like I said before. God, seven minutes already and oh, we're, we're just about over half way. This is the longest video I've ever made. On Minecraft anyway. Getting some more beds. I don't even know why. I don't even have any villagers. I was there like, yes, we need bed. Bed important. Call this wheat. I love it. I just love wheat. I just love injecting it into me. I end up swapping that entire bit there for carrots, just because carrots, I'll probably use them for just the villages, because I can use my wheat for my animals. Look at this! This is what I call skill. This is, what's, this is how you mine diamonds in the modern world. You don't actually mine them, you just make farms. I need a lot more beetroot. I should have farmed. I should make a big farm for that because one of my guys need it. He will eventually trade me some delicious golden carrot cake for sure. And maybe I'm not sure about that actually. I've only ever done one once and I got lucky. But you can have a trade a golden carrot or a golden melon. To give you a golden carrot, you get rid of them. They don't have golden carrots. The golden melons, I mean, they're useless, they don't even do anything. They're used in portions, so they're actually pretty useful. But, I'm not gay, so, yeah. Look at all this, look how good this is. It's absolutely took it out. I need some iron for a new axe, I think. Or was that for shears? I mean, yeah, shears. This. this is called skill. I'm just predicting the future for fun. Now I show them all. Get some carpet and use the special trick of breaking the laws of physics. Which is pretty epic. If I do say so myself. Got an achievement then, the parrots and the birds. The parrots and the birds. The birds. It's pretty epic. Pretty litty. I don't I realise how many levels I had. I can't remember if it's at the end of this one I actually go and make myself an enchantment table. Yeah it is, it is, it is! Because I think I finally got some books by just destroying the house. Here I am, not doing anything. Got this. 
this. Oh, I think this video goes up to 12 minutes, so we're almost there. I have to get some beautiful obsidian. Most of it burns, which is sad. But I did manage to get enough. I thought it was free at first, but then I remembered it was four when I looked at it. That's right, I'm pretty smart. I'm not gonna lie, my IQ might be the same as like, I don't even know, Chuck Norris's. Put that there, and then I go get some book. I need to really light up my entire area. I mean, my village area isn't got any torches, which weren't already there, it's incredibly exposed. Which is quite fun. There we go, three of them. And that is the end. I'll see you boys later.